Yeah, Paul was quite the specimen. I wonder what it would have been like if you put Paul, Haku, and the likes of Harley Race in a room by themselves in their prime. I wonder how that would have gone. <laughs> Harley was a tough guy, but I don't think uh, Harley would have stood with either one of those guys. No, there's no comparison. Uh, but Harley um, also was packing. So <laughs> that's another reason not to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Harley was always packing. One time I was in his, you know, a Porsche. We were going about 100 miles an hour. I was already scared to death. And he pulls out this giant 44 Magnum and rolls the window down on my side and all of a sudden goes, blam. And I look and he's trying to shoot this rabbit <laughs> at 100 miles an hour while he's going down the road. And um, uh, as if I'm not afraid enough, and now he's not paying attention on a two lane road. He uh, obviously is being distracted by turning and trying to shoot that rabbit. And oh gosh, I can't even tell you. I think my pants were wet. After that, <laughs> I bet. Um, I have a story on ProWrestlingStories.com about the time Harley Race stormed into the locker room on Hogan, and he punched Hogan in the face. And this was over uh, the time when, you know, the territories were being taken over by Vince. And, you know, Hogan was on the ground, and he said, well, I'm surprised you don't have a gun, at which point Race took out his thirty eight Special and pointed it at him, but no gunshots were fired. Yeah. Yeah, I heard about that. Don't know. I never heard Terry tell me the story, but uh, I did hear about it. I just like to add that Harley Race has been in several, several car wrecks. Okay. Oh yeah. 